Hey, what's up guys? All right, pull-ups. Can you do 10 pull-ups, 15 pull-ups? Can you even do a pull-up, all right? Pull-ups are one of those muscles that men should be able to do. You should be able to lift your own body weight, all right? However, if you're struggling with doing pull-ups or if you wanna learn how to do more pull-ups, then make sure you watch this video. I'm gonna give you some tips, show you some things you can implement to make sure you do several pull-ups. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna explain how you can do more pull-ups. More pull-ups or even a pull-up. It depends on where you're at. One thing I've realized with working with a lot of men over the years, older men especially, pull-ups are hard. People struggle to pull their own body weight up, all right? That should not be the case. That's one of those exercises you should definitely make sure you are incorporating into your weekly routines because it provides tremendous benefits. It's gonna work your entire uh, back musculature, all right? It's a tremendous overall body strength exercise as well. So there's a lot of benefits to doing actual pull-ups, all right? If you're struggling to do your own body weight, whether it be one pull-up or even 10 pull-ups, then by utilizing some of these tips I'm gonna share with you, you're gonna be well on your way to doing several pull-ups, all right? So one of the focuses you have to make sure that you are spending time on grip strength, all right? Two things you can do for grip strength. The first thing I'm gonna recommend are called dead hangs. So you're basically gonna just hang on the bar for 10 seconds, all right? You're gonna get here and you're gonna hang with all of your weight, all right? Hang there for 10 seconds and then you're gonna shoot for three sets of 10 second hangs. 10 seconds. Rest 20 to 30, you don't need a lot of rest, all right? Do another 10 seconds, rest 20 to 30, and then do a third set. Here's the key though, the key is to focus on progression. 10 is just a starting point. You wanna go to 20 seconds after that, then 30 seconds after that, and then your goal is three sets of 60 seconds, one full minute of dead hangs, all right? You should be able to support your body for a minute, rest 30 seconds, do another minute, rest 30 again and then do another minute. If you can do that, then you're not gonna have to worry about your grip strength giving out on you while you're doing the pull-ups because that is one of the issues with a lot of men. Their back may be strong enough to support the weight, however, the grip gives out first. So that's why we're tackling the grip strength. Two other things you can do for the grip strength. You're gonna do your dead hangs, then you're also gonna do dumbbell holds. It's, you're gonna grab dumbbells as heavy as you can get and you're just gonna stand there and hold them in the same type of sequence. 10 seconds, rest. 10 seconds, rest again, and do another 10. All right, you wanna get to where you can do three 60 second holds with a very heavy weight. All right, if you're able to do that with your full body weight, then you're able to do that with dumbbells. The last thing I want you to do are plate holds, all right? 45 pound plates. Basically, you're just gonna get standard plates and this is gonna help finger strength as well. And you're just gonna sit here and just hold these as long as you can, all right? So if you can do 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, that's the, fun that's the, the goal here and the focus. That's what you're trying to build up to. You do those three things for strength, for your grip, all right? Grip and wrist strength, finger strength with these, that's gonna help with your pull-ups. Next thing you need to do are negatives, okay? The most difficult part of the pull-up for most men, the lifting phase, lifting your actual body. Once you get up there, you can gradually lower yourself, but it's difficult to get up there. So these are negatives, all right? A negative is you get on a bench, you actually wanna start in the top phase. You're gonna get on a bench high enough to get you up here, and then you're gonna slowly lower yourself down, all right? Here on the negatives, you're gonna start with five second negatives. You're gonna be here, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, all right? Don't pull yourself up. Again, get on the bench, get back, do another negative, all right? You're gonna go from five second negatives to 10 second negatives with your goal being three 15 second negatives, all right? You're gonna get your 15 second negatives and that's gonna add a tremendous amount of strength to your, to your lats, all right? 
So focus on doing those things, all right? The very next thing I want you to do, you still have to make sure you're working within the actual full range of motion pull-ups. You're not just focused on grip strength. You're not just focused on negatives. You still wanna be doing pull-ups, all right? However, I know it can be difficult. That's why you start with a band. You wanna do assisted pull-ups. If you're at a gym, you've got an assisted pull-up machine, utilize the assisted pull-up machine. It's a lot more convenient. You can add whatever weight you need to offset your lack of strength and you can gradually progress by adding less and less weight, which allows you to create more and more of your own weight that you're lifting, all right? Or you can use a band. Typical band, just like this, all right? The wider these are, the more help they're gonna give you. The thinner they are, the less help they're gonna give you. So it's just all about the resistance. Basically, you're gonna pull this thing down, put your knee in it, and then you're gonna do a pull up, as many pull ups as you can with assistance, all right? This is gonna help offset a lot of your weight. Again, if you have a thin band and it's still difficult, get a thicker band, all right? By doing those, it's gonna help you to where you can build gradually and not just straight out go out and do your pull ups, all right? But start implementing all of these things, grip strength, negative strength, and assisted dips, or assisted pull ups, excuse me. Start doing those, then you're gonna be on your way to doing several pull ups, all right? And here's the thing, the more pull ups you can do, the better you're gonna feel, the more strong you're gonna be, the better your back's gonna be, which is something that a lot of people neglect. A lot of people work on the anterior muscles, the front muscles, you wanna focus on those back muscles as well. It's gonna help with your posture, overall back strength, lower back strength, just overall strength in general, and an overall better look for older guys. But man, if you have any questions about any of this video or any of the exercises you should be doing, comment below, let me know. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, let me know you like it so I know to do more like, like this type of video. Also guys, we got several other videos over here. Make sure you check those out. More videos on how to improve weaknesses, more videos on nutrition, more videos on a lot of workout tips and follow along workouts. There's so many different workouts on our channel. If you haven't checked any of those out, make sure you head to our channel and check out, check out a lot of our videos and get it out. But man, other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.